So Protocase, we make generally small orders of sheet metal parts, uh, precision sheet metal, uh, often enclosures, but all kinds of parts as well, and we're now moving into machining. Our focus is on science and engineering, and you know, space exploration is part of that. NASA is a, a big customer of ours. Uh, SpaceX is a big customer of ours. And what we do for them is we really embrace those small orders the design challenges that scientists and engineers have, we really help them overcome those design challenges. And then the other side of it is we make stuff in two to three days. You know, and what we want to do is we really want to expose this upper cut of students who are going to be the drivers of science and engineering and space exploration to the most advanced design methods. The way that I built devices so many times, uh, We'd you know come up with a design and it would have sheet metal parts in it and uh, go, okay great uh, and I'd go and handcraft it I'd find some sheet metal and I'd cut it with tin snips and I'd bang it in a vise and I'd drill it and uh, and you know we got the job done but when you're building something of this sophistication when you move down to that level number one it takes a huge amount of time and the results aren't very good the next level is 3D design okay so. We've come along and we've said, well, you know, if scientists can take their vision, uh, you know, get it in, in three, their thoughts into 3D, get them as optimized as they can, hand them to us two to three days later, it's winging its way back to you. It's, just, it's a whole different paradigm that they're operating in. And uh, that's what we wanted to expose students to. So how we got involved with the URC um, is initially our company actually decided to do a sponsorship program so that we were able to take part in helping the teams uh, not only design some of their parts but we'd actually be able to produce it for them. Um, so initially the way that it was set up is there was actually 44 teams and we have seven account managers here and we had the teams divided out amongst the uh, account managers. and. We were working with them, kind of giving them a little bit of information on what we do, how it's going to benefit them by working with us, um, just kind of get a better understanding of what they were doing as well, just so it would make it a much smoother transition as they were moving through their project. So when they uh, would first send in their designs, I would look over it first and just make sure that it's something that we're capable of doing. Just as any manufacturing company can't make everything, we just have a quick look at it, make sure it looks like something that Protocase is able to do. Um, at that point, I sent it over to my tech team. The tech team would actually take the design and implement it into our database. As part of the tech department, you know, we're responsible for the entire technical side of things. So, you know, when a, when a customer enters a request for a quote, um, that job will come across our system and we'll take it. We'll check it for manufacturability. Um, we'll determine, you know, can we make it and what changes we need to make in order for us to make it. So once the customer is satisfied with their quote, um, the job is entered. And we'll take that job, you know, we'll make the changes that we discussed with the customer earlier, and then we'll do up what we call an approval package. And we will take that, and we'll, once they're approved with it, we'll, you know, we'll do up a custom set of work instructions, and we'll send it into production. So once we decided that everything was completed and everybody was happy with the way it was designed, we would go ahead and process the order for them. Um, after that's done, we send it right into production. Then it goes into, let's say, some of the parts had to be laser cut, had to be bent. Um, some of them had to be deburred, you know, get powder coated and stuff like that. So it goes from station to station. Uh, we were quite aware that the Mars Rover um, challenge parts were coming through the shop. Um, it actually causes quite a buzz to the to the uh, production team when we see something different like that. And a lot of the parts were quite different than what we normally do. A lot of the stuff that was made on the uh, CNC machine, we're seeing something that you know students are coming up with something that they're designing, trying to win a project. And our role in that is to make sure that we make that product to the quality that they they were expecting. Despite the fact that we do have thousands of jobs, um, if a customer needs something, um, we're able to fit that into our uh, production schedule. Um, there was a lot of parts that came through there, but it's just what we do here every day. It's just, they get scheduled in. We have an amazing production team that knows how to produce quality parts and get them out to our customers on time, and I think this was a great example of that. Uh, my favorite part with uh, the communication between me and all the students was the fact that they were just so excited about the projects. 
Um, it was just awesome to see all of their creative ideas, all the the you know the the new things that they were just coming up with that I really had never thought of before. And for myself, it was kind of cool because I've never ever been involved with something like this. And just to see their excitement behind it and their willingness to to try to overcome things, like if we had something that you know uh, we can manufacture it a better way, they were always open to different ideas. It just seems so like too good to be true almost they're just so passionate and motivated about their work and it's not necessarily work either I think it's just overall their dream and passion to just uh, get these designs in and make it work you know what this is an upper cut of university engineering students that get involved in these things these are people who have you know uh, they definitely have, they have a love and a passion for what they do and they go and they sign up for one of these projects and the amount of work there's just an immense amount of work that goes into these things but why the amount of effort, focus, and, and, and smarts and energy that go into it, just do really something. I got to work with a lot of different teams, you know, from, I worked from jobs from University of Saskatchewan all the way to, you know, University of Warsaw, Poland. So it was, uh, it was really neat to see all the different teams and how they, uh, how their design, you know, how their design differed from each other and how some of them were the same, you know, and uh, it, was, it was really neat. It was absolutely amazing working with you guys. I love the fact that I got to see all your creativity, I got to see all your designs, your knowledge. It was just amazing to be able to be involved with something like this. No, keep doing what you're doing. I, I love what you guys are so passionate about. Uh, keep coming back. If, if you want to do another challenge next year, go ahead and do it. Uh, be more than happy to do it again. It's a great experience. Just so you know, Protocase is going to be here again next year, so please come back where we would be more than happy to take part in this program again and we absolutely loved it.